Still having nightmares? Oh yeah, they keep coming back every now and then, and what's more, they're always the same. But don't worry, Jeremy, I'm used to them. No, Alita, it's not your nightmares I'm worried about. I told you that it's no big deal. Yumi won't be far for the holidays, and I'm staying here to keep an eye on Xana, so there's no need to worry. I don't care about Xana. I just don't like leaving you here all alone. I'm gonna tell my dad I'm staying here. No, you're not. You should spend the holidays with your families. For me, it's... it's not the same thing. Mm. At holiday time, my dad gets more stressed out than ever, which makes my mom hysterical. I think I'd rather stay here. Yeah, me too. My sisters drive me nuts. Last year, they locked me in the bathroom all night just because they thought it was funny. They did? But... that's even worse than my kid brother. I thought they were older than you, Odd. They are, and they're a lot bigger than me too. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ulrich, isn't that your dad's car over there? Mm. Well, the show must go on. See you soon, everybody. May the force be with you! See ya. It's not all that long. Try and have some fun. There's my father. Eileen, are you sure that you... Come on now, hurry up. I won't be all alone. I've got Kiwi for company. Okay, goodbye for now. Uh, speaking of Kiwi, don't feed him any cheese at all. It gives him gas. And that's more powerful than your energy fields. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. I see you're still hanging around with that gang of good-for-nothings. And I see you forgot your happy pill again. Ulrich! Your friends seem very nice, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, I really like them a lot. Hmm. They're my good buddies. That girl with the pink hair, is that Alida, the one you're always talking about? She's very pretty, and I get the impression she likes you. I'd better go. I promised my mom I'd help her clean up. Okay, yeah, see you, Yumi. Alida, are you sure you don't want to spend the holidays with us? I'll call my parents and tell them. No, I'd just be in the way. And besides, I could use a little time alone. Hmm. <sighs> well, if you need anything, you know my number. Okay. Have a nice holiday. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I love him. What should I call him? How about Mr. Puck? It's the name of an elf. Do you like it? Oh, yes, thank you, Mommy. Mm.
You're very quiet, son. Is anything wrong? Uh, no, it's nothing. I was just thinking of something else. Oh. You disappointed me again as usual, Ulrich. I thought after the talk we had last month that you would try at least to make some kind of effort. Instead, there's been no improvement at all. Plus, all those unexcused absences. <laughs> and find that amusing. <sighs> Hmm? on the Yoko. You're not on the network? Oh, rats! It bugged up! <clears throat> Yumi, could you please give me a hand in here? Soon as I'm finished calling my friend! Your phone call can wait! I need you to help me right now. If not, I'll never finish all the housework in time. But Mom, you've got a whole week to do it. Yes, and as usual, your father's not going to lift a finger, so a week may not be enough. Huh? What did I do this time? Oh. There isn't much time. Not much time for what? Here are the coordinates. See you in a minute, my dear. See you in a minute, my dear. So much catching up to do, in the so little time. I thought you were lost on the network. Lost? No, dear. When Zano destroyed Lyoko, I managed to escape. I have information to give you, but first, I wanted so much to hold you in my arms. But how did you... I had to create this simulation bubble so that I could finally... This is fantastic. Everything is just the same. Yes, the bubble will allow us to do many things, my dear. Like spending an evening together at last. Come on, pick up, will you? Yeah! Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out! Calling Ulrich? Mind your own business. Do I ask you about Millie Solovyev? Mm. <sighs> mm. Hello, Jeremy? For how long of a time? Her phone battery might be dead, that's all. Think you can go over there and check it out? Keep me posted, okay? Uh, Dad? Um, I forgot my laptop back at the dorm, and I, um... I get the idea, Jeremy. Your laptop wouldn't have pink hair by any chance, would it? Huh? You know, I can understand that. I was in love once, too. You were? With who? Who else? With your mother. No, oh, this traffic's horrible! Getting all tense won't get us there any faster, dear. That you, Jeremy? You sure? You're right. Something must be up. Okay, I'll let him know and we'll meet you know where. Anything is more fun than this. Ulrich! Where are you going? <gasps> to get a little air and to stretch my legs. Besides, I'll get there faster if I walk. See ya! <gasps> Odd! Alita's not answering her phone. Meet us at the factory. Okay! Be right there as soon as I tell my parents! 
Well, are you flying today or not? Just a second. Hello, Adele. It's odd. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, Pauline. Hey, listen. You think you could ask Elizabeth to tell Marie to say to Louise that she should let Mom and Dad know I missed my flight? Uh-huh. What do you mean, tell them myself? Hello? Hmm. Okay, change your plan. Nothing like sibling loyalty. Alida? Expecting you here on Lyoko? Hmm. No, as long as Santa hasn't been defeated, I can't rematerialize myself. But you, however, should be able to free your young friend. What was his name again? William. Yes, of course. I'm going to send a program to Jeremy via the supercomputer. By the way, how's your fight against Santa progressing? We're hunting him down in the network thanks to our virtual ship, the Skid Vladimir. Uh, the Skid Vladimir? <laughs> what a strange name. But you know that name. It's in the book of Viking legends that you used to read to me before I went to sleep. Yes, of course, the Skid Vladimir. How could I forget? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Yuli! Huh? Hurry, Jeremy. I need to virtualize herself onto Lyoko. What? But why did she do that? Her father asked her to. Hmm? <sighs> Is something wrong, my precious? Why'd you ask me to come to Lyoko, Daddy? Because I wanted to see you. It's been such a long time. It's dangerous. Xana could attack at any time. Not as long as I'm with you. You know, when I said that everything here was the same as I remembered it, I meant it. I'm glad you like it. I wanted you to feel as if it was your home. Our home. It's true. Everything's here. Nothing's missing. Except for one little thing. Oh, really? What's that? My mother. But... You remember, dear, your mother disappeared. Yes, and I want to see her again more than anything else in the world, and you know that. You've always known. And since you're a perfectionist, you'd have recreated her here in the simulation bubble. That is, unless you weren't really my father. Gailita! Stay away from me, Santa! Something's fishy. Hmm. What if it was Hopper who contacted Aelita? Xana's pulled this on us before. I don't think Hopper would risk this with his own daughter. Aelita is somewhere in the ice sector. Huh? In a simulation bubble? She's in a what? A copy of a real world. The sort of ghost channel. Aelita's fallen into a trap. Get ready. You're going in right now. Better give up, Aelita. You can't... That's what you think! What are you waiting for? Go after her! Transfer Yumi! Scanner Yumi! Virtualization! Jeremy, I didn't land inside the bubble! I know, I can't virtualize you directly inside of it. You'll have to find your own way in. Any idea how? Uh, not really, but if you ask me, Xana's probably screening his guests. Yeah, for sure! He even left a couple of bouncers at the door. Points you just lost. Perfect timing, you two. Head straight for the scanner room. You, me, and Aelita are in big trouble. Sure, but how about a little rundown? I'll fill you in later. Now get going, huh? <laughs> Impossible to escape. This bubble is your prison. Virtualization. Uh... <laughs> 
Good to be back, though. Where's Aelita? Somewhere inside that bubble thing. She's always gotta be different, doesn't she? Poison arrow! <laughs> Give up, Aelita! Alright. You win with him. something. I don't know. Without Aelita, it's all over. Mm -hmm. Einstein, something weird is happening! Yeah, hang on. I think I get the picture.
losing energy. Take out that block and make it snappy, too. We're doing what we can, Einstein. <laughs> is an understatement, Princess. I know someone who's going to be really happy to see you. Let's go. I hope this time he gives us the rundown he promised us because I don't know what's going on. <sighs> it's pretty obvious. There he goes again. You see, when Lyoka was destroyed, Hopper wasn't spread out over the network. He managed to escape. He disappeared on purpose, is that it? That's right, to get away from Xana, which is why he's constantly trying to throw Aelita into the digital sea all the time. He knows that's the only thing that could get Hopper to come out of hiding in order to destroy him. As long as my father's alive, he'll always be a big threat to Xana. And our friend Xana knows it. Well, before we blow Xana away for good, why don't we give each other our presents, huh? We said we'd wait till after vacation. Yeah, I know. Here, Einstein, this one's for you. Since Xana made us come back earlier than expected, why wait, right? That's cool, Odd. Thanks a lot, but, um, what am I supposed to do with it? Nothing at all. That's what makes it fun, don't you think? You're not opening your presents? No, in Japan, you never open a present in front of the person who gave it to you. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. And that isn't all, Aelita. Tonight, you're coming home with me. My parents want you to stay for the holidays. But I don't want to bother them. It's no bother at all. They're the ones who insisted. I'll give you my room, and I'll sleep in the living room. We've got a really comfortable couch. What about Xana? You know, I'm sure that Xana could use a vacation, too. <laughs> <laughs> what you thinking about? About my father. When he saved me, even in his virtual form, I could feel his presence, like he was holding me in his arms. 